Hi, this is Samantha here from RecipeThis.com and the voice behind the popular kitchen gadgets podcast, Magic with Gadgets. Today, I want to show you just how easy it is to cook your favourite red potatoes using the microwave. Red potatoes are absolutely delicious. We also feature over on RecipeThis.com how to do air fryer red potatoes or instant pot red potatoes. But sometimes I think people forget about your lovely microwave. So, what do you need to do red potatoes in the microwave? You need a steamer basket of some sort, or you can swap that for a Ziploc bag or another strong freezer bag. Because the idea being to steam in the microwave, you just need something that can be contained so that you're not getting all the heat from the microwave inside of it. So, the steamer basket is ideal because it's like that and then the lid down and then you can place it directly into your microwave like this. There's plenty of demonstrations using this. If you go to recipethis.com, hit our microwave section, you can see our daughter Sophia showing you how it's done. So then once you're ready, you want just, uh, just about a tablespoon of water into your steamer basket. And then you can start loading up your steamer basket with whatever you're cooking in it. So in this occasion, we're doing red potatoes. So you can quarter them or do them into eighths, depending on what size you want. And of course, depending on your potatoes, they might need a scrub first. And you can also do the same method with white potatoes. I'm just a huge fan of red potatoes. And I get them in a two and a half kilo bag uh, from the green grocers and they're just so nice. So just carry on doing that until you've got enough for whatever you're doing for dinner. I mean I've done all I've got all these out, but I'm not gonna use them all because I've nearly got a full portion, so I'm gonna finish on that one there. So I always end up getting more potatoes out than I use, and then as I'm peeling them and I'm chopping them. Uh, and prepping them for whatever we're eating. I think, hang on a minute, I don't actually need that many. So that's my portion there. Now, plenty of salt, because humble spud always needs some salt. And then a little bit of pepper. And then some mixed herbs, or you can use whatever you want. It depends what you're cooking for dinner. If you're doing chicken in a nice sauce, then you can always add some tarragon to your potatoes to carry on with the theme. You know, or if you're doing a different type of meal, you can use Cajun, it's totally up to you. And then just give them a quick mix round in your steamer basket. And it's wonderful here because, you know, you can use your steamer basket for your prep and it kind of doubles up as your bowl. And it's also one that collapses down so it's good for when you're traveling because most places that you stay at now do have a microwave. So now I'm just gonna give my hands a quick wipe. And then lid off and you want to make sure it's secure so you can hear that noise there so there's potatoes I didn't use move out the way so I can open the microwave up and microwave open place them in we seem to have a really low wattage microwave so yours will probably be done in quicker the time than ours so we're going with 12 minutes on full power and then press start and microwave's beeped so our red potatoes have now done 12 minutes in the microwave and like i say our microwave has this terrible wattage so you know if you've got a high wattage microwave, yours might be done in nine minutes, which is even more amazing. I know with our um, poached eggs, it's very quick cook time in the microwave, but I know that it knocks off a good 30 seconds for people with a high wattage. So I'm sure the same applies when it comes to potatoes. Oh, wow. Look at all the steam off those. Oh, wow, they look brilliant. So shall we? Shall we fork test them? And see how they're doing? Are we in? We're in. Isn't that brilliant? Fork tender potatoes cooked in the microwave. And of course, if you want to make them a bit more interesting, you can of course add some butter to them now and serve them for dinner with some butter and they'll be just perfect. Thanks for 
watching and don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter as well as following us on Pinterest and Facebook and joining our Facebook group. We are also on TikTok now so don't forget to follow us at TikTok forward slash recipethis.